Uh, well, first off, I would say uh, today was we had an amazing crowd. So we really want to thank the Syracuse community for coming out and supporting us. There's a lot of little girls there today. I think it's our second highest uh, single game attendance. So that's awesome. And, you know, the more we play, the more fans are coming, which we really appreciate. And it makes a difference for us in these games. So um, I thought that was awesome. I think the game today, I think we played three really great quarters of Syracuse lacrosse. I think we had a tough third quarter, but I'm proud of the girls for just staying in it and finishing the game. I think that's a really talented Notre Dame team. Um, you know, I think we get a, did a really nice job defensively of holding their star players to really limited goals. I mean, of their, you know, top players, Choma had a goal, but, and Wolak had five assists, but outside of that, we really limited, you know, Ahern and a lot of other players, so I thought we did a really great job of that. Um, I thought we had a great first half offensively. Um, I think Emma Ward was seeing the field really well today. Um, but overall, great game. I think there's some things we need to clean up, but um, it was a good win. Emma, so obviously a great game today. You were a real facilitator. What was working for you on offense? What were you seeing that allowed you to do all that? Yeah, so it was the first half, they ran a lot of zone, so it was kind of my favorite. So it was nice just to be able to keep my head up and, you know, people around me making good cuts. Uh, Meg Carney specifically, she had a lot of nice cuts, making my job really easy. And um, Meg Tyrell just finishing in transition. Um, then second half when they ran a little bit more man, obviously you got to work a little bit harder to find those looks. Um, so we were able to capitalize man up and uh, just put the ball away. Can you just explain to Emma how bad you wanted that goal? Not only did you have seven assists, but you had a notch in that last goal just to get those eight points. So just take me through um, that last play of the game where you scored that goal. Yeah, so I mean, it's just playing in the moment, read the defense and saw my opening and, you know, just shot the ball as hard as I could. <laughs> you close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Hallie, the defense has held uh, other, your opponents to under 10 goals multiple times this year. What has been so special for you guys on the defensive end? Um, I think we've really created like a completely unique identity for ourselves this year. And um, we just communicate so well with each other. And physical touch is such an important part of our game. So getting together after any play, whether good or bad, you know, just touching each other and playing for each other and knowing that it's bigger than what we're doing in that game in that moment. So I think just kind of being a different unit and making an individual effort to be a bigger unit is kind of what we've done. Coach, any updates on Caitlin Chesky? I saw Olivia Addison. Oh, OK. Um, how are you? Uh, of course, there was a a tough third quarter with uh, four straight goals from um, the Irish, but you were able to come back and forth and um, hold them and stop the rally. Uh, what do you say to each other uh, during the uh, third, fourth quarter intermissions to uh, also defense? Yeah, I think we all kind of noticed that there was a lot of emotion on the field and um, <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> but uh, I think defensively, we know that it doesn't matter what the other team is doing and whatever emotion that they're portraying, we have to stay neutral. Um, and then just doing our job to make sure that we can get the offense, the ball. And then coming out in the fourth quarter, we just keep that same mindset and keep playing Syracuse lacrosse. Uh, for Emma, how important is it when uh, goalie Delaney Spitzer gets a save and then starts to push that ball in transition? She had multiple passes where she threw it all the way from the goal to basically midfield. How important is it for the offense to get in transition and really catch defenses off guard? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it, it makes our lives a lot easier when we're able to play in transition. We, we're man up, being able to move the ball. But give credit to Delaney getting that ball out fast. But we got to give credit to our middies because they're running the whole length of the field. And they're doing all the hard work just to pass the ball off for us to you know, do our job and finish. So you know, coming from the defensive end to the middies, uh, a big thanks to them making our job so easy, uh, being able to get the ball up. And, uh, and then on offense, just us finishing. Hallie, how nice is it to have someone like Emma on the offensive end of the field just knocking down those assists? Um, just how, how nice is it to have someone like that on the offensive end? It's definitely nice knowing that our effort 
<laughs> that we put in will be turned over on the other side into a goal. Um, definitely gives us a little breather. I know sometimes the um, offense, especially Emma, will read our defense when we get transition over and know that we need a, a little bit of a break, slow the ball down. But it's super awesome that we have an offense that will finish the ball for us. Thank you. But the defense was pretty good when it comes to defending passes, especially inside the 8-meter. How was the defense kind of just swarming um, Notre Dame today close to the net? Um, well, we've been working on just in our zone, like really focusing on just guiding players out and not fouling. And when we're able to do that, break down our feet and just not foul, we're so successful. And, um, you know, I think Caitlin DeFelice Watkins, I say it all the time, but she's just a brilliant mind and – she does such a great job with that unit and has such a amazing game plan for each game that we play. And, you know, I thought she had a great game plan for this really star-studded offensive Notre Dame team. So, um, you know, they just did a great job of executing the game plan and they're getting a little better every game. And that's a great offensive unit from Notre Dame. So just overall a nice job. Coach, Emma had a career high in assists with seven, eight points. How proud does it make you feel to see her just running the offense like that today against Notre Dame? Yeah, like she said, they played zone early, and, you know, I think the, the offense was totally ready to just break down that defense, and they did such a great job in the fir first half. Um, but she's, she loves playing against that kind of defense, and then, you know, I think she had a huge play for us in the fourth quarter, and – she just, you know, I thought she was seeing the field really well. She's just an elite passer. I think she gets a lot of credit for her scoring goals and the way she does it because she shoots the ball really hard. But she's really a tremendous passer. I mean, one of the best passers I've, I've seen. So, um, you know, I just give her a lot of credit. And I think it just goes to the way that these guys play. They're really unselfish, and they love making that extra pass. So she was, she was great today. Uh, Coach, today started a four-game stretch against uh, top 15 ranked opponents they are going to be taking on over the next couple of weeks. What are your expectations for the team as they go on the road for the, uh, again and uh, through these tough opponents? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a big week for us. You know, spring break, we go on the road and play Loyola and Duke, and we play a lot of top teams. We play all the top teams, really. And, um, you know, it, it'll be a lot of fun. You know, these girls come to Syracuse to play all these teams, and, you know, Loyola is one of uh, – great team, going to be a great test, but we just got to take it one game at a time and prepare our best, And um, but we're really excited for the upcoming week. Uh, we asked Hallie, but what was kind of the message inside the huddle going from the third to fourth quarter after Notre Dame kind of brought it back within reaching distance? We just needed to be neutral. There was a lot of emotion out on the field from both teams and coaching staff, so we just had to be neutral and just take a deep breath and just kind of relax and know that we're in control of the game. And um, they, ha they, you know, they handled it well. And we, we definitely needed that little break. But it was, good. it was good for us. And, you know, it was a part of our game plan going into it. We knew that they have a lot of energy and, you know, they fight. So we just had to handle it, be neutral, and just have a good fourth quarter, which we did. Just wanted to see an update on Kate Mischewski. Um, obviously, she was off the field, but she came back pretty quickly um, and on crutches. So just wanted to see an update on her health um, after that fall. I have no updates on Kate Mischewski. What have you seen so far during practice this week that executed well in today's performance? Um... Well, a lot of different things. I mean, I think we knew Notre Dame well. They have like a lot of really top offensive players, and I think we did a good job on them. Could probably could have done a little bit better job on Wolak. She, she, you know, she, she did a really nice job. But, you know, against Choma, who I think she was one for six on shooting, and, I mean, I think she's one of the best shooters we've played against. So that's, a, that's a, just a great job. And Delaney has been so consistent for us. I think Hallie plays such an important position in our zone, and I think that was probably her best game. And, you know, she was awesome. And then offensively, they were ready for both defenses that they played. We knew they'd play us in a zone and a man. And, you know, they were, they were great against both. So, you know, I think they were just ready to execute the game plan. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.